Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make these cute little striped stockings. These would be perfect for your Christmas tree as a present topper, or you can make an advent calendar like I'll show you at the end of this video. The yarn that I'm using for this tutorial is Mary Maxim Mellow Spun DK. This yarn is provided from Mary Maxim for this tutorial, and I'm using the color Cream, Buff, and Garnet. You'll need a four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. This is a Supernova Streamline Swirl Hook from Furls Crochet, and there will be a link in the description box with a coupon code for the hooks. And you'll also find the link to purchase the yarn. I'll be working this pattern from the toe up and you can start with the red if you want, but I'm gonna show you how to do it this way, starting with the cream and doing the cream for our heel and the fold over portion but you can reverse that and do the red for these sections if you prefer or use any of the colors really that you want so we're going to begin with a magic ring so put that on your finger wrap it around three times take your hook sliding it through grab your first loop pulling it through the other two now we'll chain two and in the ring we'll work eight half double crochets. Okay, and then we'll pull the ring tight. So you're gonna take your tail begin to pull it. Only one loop is gonna pull in, so you're gonna take that loop, give it a tug, take your other tail, and now your start is nice and tight. We'll slip stitch in our first half double crochet to join, chain two, and now we'll work two half double crochets in every stitch around. So we're increasing this to 16 stitches. So I'll repeat that around and then meet you up. Okay, so on our final stitch, I'm gonna pull over with the red to change the color. So I've gone in, let me just take this out just to show you. So we've already put the one half double in the stitch. We'll go through, pull up a loop, so you have three loops on your hook. We'll drop off our cream pull through with the red and then you'll slip stitch to join. Now we won't cut the color because we'll just pick it up every time at the join. We'll chain two now and work one half double crochet in every stitch around. So I'll meet you back up at the join. Okay, so I'm working my last stitch and we will drop off the red, pull up the cream to change the color, and then slip stitch in the first half double crochet to join. Chain two and we'll work one half double crochet into every stitch around. And on the last stitch, we're going to change back to red. And we'll work one in every stitch around. Okay, once you've worked all the way around, we are going to switch back to the cream. And this round, we're going to have the heel opening. We'll slip stitch to join. Chain two. And I'm going to work 12 stitches. So work 12 half double crochets and then I'll meet you back up again.
Okay, so we're working across only 10 stitches. We want to have six stitches remaining here. Now we'll chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will change color on our slip stitch. So go through the stitch, we'll drop off the cream, pick up the red, and pull through. Give your tail a tug, chain two, and now we're working a half double crochet in each stitch around, and then we'll work a half double crochet in each chain. So we'll be increasing now, we have 18 stitches. So 10 stitches plus the eight of the chain. So once you get to the chain, you can just work across it. Just count and make sure that you have the correct stitch count. And on that eighth stitch from the chain, we can just yarn over again with the cream can always do that or change it on your slip stitch join. Chain two. And now we're just working our half double crochets around. So we're gonna come back and fill in that heel afterwards. But if we take a look at this stocking, we'll see how many stripes we need in total. So just starting from when we change color, so our red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, or onto the six, and we just wanna keep going around until we have a total of 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and work mine around, just changing color each round, and then I'll meet you up for the join as you go ribbed band. Okay, so I've completed the 12 rounds. So with our starting two, we have 14 in total. I'm going to cut the red. And now we'll start into that join as you go band. So we'll slip stitch to join. And we'll chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain. So we have a total of six stitches. Okay, and now we'll skip the first stitch and we're gonna slip stitch into the next two. Then we'll turn, we're going to skip those two slip stitches and work a single crochet in the back loop only. One, two, three, four, five, and six chain one and turn. Now we're working back down the band. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. Turn, skip the two slip stitches, and we're just repeating this now all the way around. So joining this band as we go by attaching it with the slip stitches. So you're gonna have the same number of rows as you have 
stitches. So we should have 18 rows when we're completed, when we've completed it. So I'm gonna work around, I'm gonna meet you at the end. Okay, so once we get all the way around, you should be ending with just one slip stitch, one stitch here. We'll slip stitch into it, turn, and work back up our ribbing. One, two, three, and six. Chain one. Now we're just going to join the band together. So just get it nice and even here. Go through the back loop only across to the first chain and slip stitch together. Back loop, cross to the chain, Okay, and then we can fasten that off. Take our yarn needle, we're gonna wanna weave in all of our tails. So you're gonna have tails in the inside that you're gonna wanna flip this inside out and just deal with all those tails. Just wanna make sure we go one way Go in the opposite direction. Okay, and then we can just fold that over. And then we have our heel to do, which is really, really quick and simple as well. Okay, so we had six stitches skipped here. I'm just going into the fourth, one, two, three, four. So into the center, we're going to use the cream. So we'll single crochet across three. And then we're going to want two across here. So sometimes it can be tricky just to get your hook through a spot that you're not pulling strands. I've got that my hook stuck in there now. That wasn't a good spot. Okay. So there's one and two. Now you should have eight stitches across this chain. So I'm gonna, this is a bit fiddly, I'm gonna go across the eight stitches and then I'll meet you up. Okay, and then we'll do two at the corner. And then three across. I'm grabbing little bits of everything here, okay. All right, now we'll slip stitch to join in the first chain one. So now we'll work one in each of the next three. And we're going to do three together across the next three stitches. So go through the stitch, pulling up a loop pull up a loop in the next stitch and the next stitch. So you now have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. 
Then we'll work across six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do three together. Pull up a loop, pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And you should be ending now with three stitches. One, two, three, slip stitch to join. Chain one. The next round will work two, one, two, and then we'll do three together. So pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, pull through all four, then work across four, one, two, three, four, we'll do three together, one, two, three, and finish off. Okay, so I've messed up somewhere. I should be ending with two stitches, so I'm just going to pull back and see where I messed up there. I should be ending with two, and then we'll slip stitch. Okay, stitch. I went back and found it. It's hard when I'm looking through my camera sometimes I missed a, I missed one of my stitches so now we're just going to slip stitch to join and fasten off okay so we're going to use our yarn needle to weave through every other stitch and just pull the heel closed. So we're just gonna weave right through every other stitch around. Okay, pull it closed like this. So this is how it's gonna look. And then we're just weaving our tail around in one direction, hiding it just under the stitches. And then you can go back in the opposite direction to secure that yarn tail. Okay, so this is how your little striped stocking should look. You can just finger block it to get a nice shape, nice little shape to the heel. And if you're making the advent calendar, I have links for all of our numbers. So one to 24, these wooden numbers, and also the tree ladder, or you can DIY your own tree ladder really, whichever is fine. And then what you're gonna do is just take, it comes with, the numbers come with twine. You can just knot this, and then you can weave it through onto the stocking, and then use that to hang, tie it to the tree ladder. So we can add in some treats. I just purchased some chocolates that you can add into your stocking. So you can fit a few, so if you have a few children or you want to add some for yourself i these are big enough that you can fit lots of little treats inside thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials thanks so much guys have an awesome day